it's difficult obviously for me because I've not been in the US and I, ever and I, and I would like to know if if what I am saying is right but now you're all going to say well if we have to pay for our prescriptions and our opticians and our dentists in the UK why are we any better off? The reason is, okay, the way I'm going to describe this, okay, um, there's an illness I've heard about called ulcerative colitis. If that's wrong, then don't shoot me. And basically, people either have to take pills for this or they have to have certain things removed and certain things inserted. Let's not go into the details anymore. Um, so if you opt for the pills in America, those pills that I have heard are $20 a day, every day. Nine pills a day, twenty dollars a day. Um, but in the UK, you would be paying, but you wouldn't be paying that much, and you could probably get help from organisations to help you pay. Um, which I know is health insurance, obviously, to, to the Americans. But then, with 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 all all of colitis you have the um, worry of getting colon cancer early or well you have the risk of getting colon cancer um, but in the UK that would be paid for because if, if all of a sudden you got colon cancer and you needed to go into hospital you would be covered by the NHS for whatever treatment you needed because it's not something you can opt out of well I mean you could but it would probably be painful and excruciating and not worth opting out of and it's a very rare it's not it's an essential thing that is needed to help a person with it to stay healthy and happy and alive. Um, so that would be all uh, funded for. And you're probably wondering where we get our funding from or where the NHS gets its funding from in the UK. It's we pay tax and that tax is their funding or part of that tax is their funding <coughs> um, so we pay probably I don't know maybe £10 say for example of tax to the NHS because like £60 million, that's a load of tax a load of £10 going to the NHS and that's their funding for equipment and operations and everything else and um, to me the US healthcare system is quite sad and it seems to only consider the people who are rich and everyone I have heard this from a lot of Americans the jobs that they get are based on being able to receive health care from their employers. So they could find a job, the crappiest job in the world, but not want to move because they're going to get health insurance or health care provided by their employer. And I just find that so, so sad. I mean, at the end of the day, what is this system about in the US? Health or wealth? 
I mean, in in the UK, it's a right for us to have healthcare. But in the US, I'm kind of seeing that it's a privilege at the moment, I'm afraid, guys. And I want to know your comments and your thoughts. And I don't want anyone saying, how dare you criticise our healthcare system. Because I know a lot of people love the healthcare system in America. I'm just trying to put my views across about what I believe to be true. I don't know if it is true. And I want you to give your views. And I want this to be done in... in a mature way, you know, like no, whoa, how dare you say that? Because I'm not, I'm not here to argue with the Americans. Like I've said in previous videos, I love the Americans. I don't want to fall out with you, but I'm just giving my views. And please give yours in comments. Thank you. Goodbye.